so our goal today is to just do a little bit of reflecting on our um, Mars project, uh, Farming on Mars, and conclude that, and then uh, watch each of uh, the Ruth Goldberg machines and vote on some awards for that. So just to walk you through it, you're looking for the usual tasks list on campus. It should be both an announcement and an assignment. This is Unit 5, Lesson 10, U5L10. Uh, as always, since we're wrapping up, please make sure you're checking on grades and missing assignments. Grades are due on the 8th, June 8th, um, so I've, you have until the 7th to get missing stuff to me. Um, please let me know if you need help with anything. Ideally, it would be good to get uh, things in before the 7th, but um, that is the final cutoff for grade calculations. Uh, if you missed the uh, Falcon 9 Crew Dragon launch, I've got a video of it right there, um, which you're welcome to watch, and there's a bunch of other videos you can find on YouTube of, uh, of what they're even doing now live. I broke down the numbers for our farming and space case study. And so here's kind of the breakdown for all of my classes um, for the top criteria. It was interesting to see that by far water usage and time to grow to harvest were by far the two big deciding factors um, with yield. Uh, like the, there wasn't even a close second to those first two. Um, and so, yeah, that seemed to be, it makes sense, especially with timing things and, and the fact that we had short time that it's not, not surprising that something like time to grow became a big factor. In terms of the top crops uh, across all four sections, um, it was interesting to see how the voting worked out, but by far it was peas, wheat, and potatoes. Uh, who knew that we were all such fans of peas, um, but I guess they have the nutritional needs. Uh, in terms of the your class though, if you click on the link, uh, there's a Google sheet I have that has sort of like the raw data. Um, so you guys actually, your number one crop in this class was potatoes, um, and then it was a tie between wheat and peas. Uh, second place. And uh, what's interesting is that, um, but yeah, potatoes was the third most common one in the class overall. So anyway, kind of interesting breakdown there. Um, what I want to do is conclude that project by just having you work through this do now, um, which is just two Ed Puzzle videos showing you conflicting views about Mars colonization and space exploration in general. So um, please watch the two videos in order. Um, the Bill Maher clip first, uh, there's a little bit of profanity and polit political critique in that one. Um, so just be warned about that. And then the second one is a short video of John F. Kennedy giving a speech. Um, please watch those and answer the questions. If you can't get Ed Puzzle to work, uh, I have the YouTube videos below and I made a Google form that has the same questions in it. Uh, so I'm gonna time us for 10 minutes to work on that and uh, just let me know if something doesn't work. Go for it. What I can see, um, all but two of you have completed the survey. If my count is correct, again, it's anonymous. So all I can do is look at the count on the survey form. We should be at 20. Oh, okay, we got one in. So now we're just waiting on one more. We should be at 25 and we're at 24. So whoever, if you're still wrapping up your answers. Oh, cool. All right, now, perfect. They are all in now, great. All right, kiddos, thank you very much for the feedback. Uh, it'll be very useful for the future. I'll analyze that later. Uh, now. The grand moment, we're gonna watch each other's Flipgrid videos uh, of your final Rube Goldberg machines. Here's how this is gonna work. On the tasks list, this is uh, the next step down, number um, four. I have a link right there to our Flipgrid topic, so go there, you should be able to see everybody's videos. Um, if you had trouble uploading a video here, um, please send it to me by email, and uh, I can use the high-speed internet we have here on campus to try to get it up on, um, Flipgrid. Uh, I know some people were having trouble earlier and I was able to get those videos up. Um, so oh, and send it to me by email and I'll see if I can throw it up there. Um, so here's how this is going to work. You're going to be voting on five awards. So you're going to watch everybody's uh, machine. We're going to vote on best overall machine, coolest single step or mechanism, most likely to get out of control and destroy the house. You can interpret that however you want. Most complicated or complex and best decorated. Um, it's also encouraged to leave any feedback if you want to leave a response video or just type some feedback to people on Flipgrid. That's what Flipgrid's built for. Um, and I'm sure people would appreciate um, some positive uh, stuff. Uh, there's a link right there to a Google form where you can vote uh, for people on the awards. Uh, please make sure not to vote for yourself. All voting is anonymous. Uh, I'm not recording your name or email. Uh, and try to vote for a different person each time uh, just so we can spread the awards around a little bit. So uh, I'll give you the remainder of our time until the last 10 minutes. So I want to come back together at 1.30, um, which gives us 25 minutes to complete this. So I'm going to time for 25 minutes, watch the videos, vote on the awards, and um, then we'll come back together to reveal the winners. Go for it.
we did not get to watch the last few, so uh, I will get to those eventually. Um, but yeah, so cool. I'm so impressed with with everything you guys did uh, and the um, complexity or compactness or all that stuff. Um, Shay, your little music uh, background was uh, was definitely uh, a hit, which was fun. Um, there's so many little things. Uh, Andres Trillo, I like your paint at the end. Um, Zach and Quan, you both made really good use of toys. Um, and uh, Adia, like you started like with the phone call thing. Um, Winston, you had the light at the end, which was a lot of fun. Margo, I liked your idea of uh, having a ball inside the balloon. That was a really cool thing that the fire kind of released and let out. Um, anyway, there's so many little things. Um, Garrett, I don't know if there was a little edit in the middle of your video. Uh, I was noticing a little, <laughs> a little fade out, um, but anyway, it's fine. I've seen that in a few other uh, other people's as well. So, um, very well made, everybody. Um, but uh, let's take a look at the results here. Um, all right, we have 15 votes, and uh, I honestly have not looked at these yet either. But I'll share my screen, and let's just take a look. Okay, so uh, for Best overall machine by far, we have Zach uh, with five, six votes. Uh, way to go, Zach. Called a close second uh, with Peter. Yeah, Peter, your machine was, uh, was very cool as well. Um, all right, coolest single stepper mechanism also uh, goes to Quan. Um, yes, I liked your little cannon guy in the middle and all the little toys in between. It was, was really cool. Uh, most likely they get out of control and destroy the house. Uh, looks like a tie between Andres Trillo and Peter Butler, uh, and I agree with that. Um, these were these were I think some of like the bigger like machines like space wise as well. Um, though a lot of them, a lot of you had them taking place across whole rooms. Um, most complicated or complex uh, was uh, Zach. Definitely had a lot of steps, and I liked your use of the the marble run there. And um, best decorated goes to Olive. I did like your colorful background there. Close second with Cora. And, uh, and I don't know, I mean, it wasn't a decoration, but again, I think the soundtrack uh, that Shay had going, I think is, a, is also deserves recognition. I think some other people had some music as well. Um, all right, those are the, those are the awards. Um, hope you enjoyed that process. Uh, I know it was kind of, some of you definitely dedicated a lot of room and space to them. Um, but yeah, go check out everyone else's videos if you haven't done so already. Uh, I'll try to get those grades entered as soon as I can. Uh, any other comments or anything on the uh, Rube Goldbergs? All right, uh, then I know it's weird for me to have a homework assignment, um, but I just uh, posted that. It's just a quick reminder to complete the course survey, which you all should have done, and to please check for missing work uh, before Sunday, June 7th. That's when it's due. Um, that's when grades are due. So uh, beyond that, uh, that's it. That concludes Science 2. Um, I just want to end uh, by saying thank you to all of you. Um, as you know, with PSI last year and now Science 2 this year, you're the first generation to go through these new science courses. So this is my first time teaching Science 2, first time teaching an integrated science course. So I, um, I'm very thankful. I really appreciate your patience, um, especially figuring out some of the laboratories. It was the first time I'd done some of those. Um, and just for being a really good engaged class, uh, even when we had to transition to online learning, uh, which is not an easy experience to go through. You've all been here. You've all been completing assignments. Uh, so I applaud you for that effort in doing that. Um, you know, as always with science, just keep being curious, keep researching things. Um, hope you continue to take more science courses in the future. In fact, I hope to see some of you maybe in future courses. And I hope you enjoy those ones next year. Um, but that's it for me. Thank you very much. Uh, stay safe and stay healthy over the summer. Thank you too. Bye, Thank kiddos. You. Thank you.